Hey guys, even here, so EVLS Prague Pro 2023 and as much as I would love to make this video all about the Rubial Muscara aka Nexilla, I gotta point out that this is probably your top 2 and I'm saying probably only because I'm not so sure about a second spot, as far as the winner of the show I think it is pretty clear that would be Samson Dauda who brought a much improved package much better than Romania and much better than Mr. Olympia, he definitely sharpened up, I'm gonna show you a posing routine of his, you're gonna see exactly where he improved, but this is definitely much better conditioning, and I would say Mikhail Krizio also fulfilled his promise, uh, he came in fuller and bigger, and uh, he brought pretty much same, similar condition to Mr. Olympia, overall I like this look better than the one at the Mr. Olympia, but is it good enough to beat Samson? No. Is it good enough to play second? Probably. I'm gonna show you in a moment why I think Rizzo might play lower than second, but it's probably not gonna happen. Now, uh, here is Samson. So as you can see, definitely, definitely sharper than before. Arguably his uh, best package, up to date. At this show, at Prague Pro, his last show of this year. He brought really good conditioning uh, for him. Now, I wonder what would happen if he was like this at the Mr. Olympia. I don't know, I mean, look at the glutes here, and the lower back, and the hamstrings, definitely much sharper than ever, and with his size, I don't know what the outcome would be if he showed up like this, look at this, at a Mr. Olympia, it would be definitely interesting, and overall, this show is a proper bodybuilding show, because we have a lot of mass monsters, like a lot of really big bodybuilders, who are also in good condition, you know, taller guys, Mr. Olympia is basically all former 212 guys, so yeah, I like this show a lot, uh, let me show you what Mikhail Krizio looked like. Most definitely fuller and bigger than at the Mr. Olympia, is his conditioning the same? Well, no, it's not exactly the same, because he's fuller, he lost some of that crispiness, but I would say this suits him better, I think he dieted down way too much for the Mr. Olympia, and I think he burned off some tissue, I think he lost some size in the process, and you can't get it back just by filling out. You can definitely see that his legs suffered a lot, so he needs to do an off-season and get the muscle back, the muscle that he lost in the prep, and then add some more, and then die down again, but not to the extreme to which he went for the Mr. Olympia, he sacrificed a lot of size for that conditioning, it wasn't necessary, nobody was that conditioned, he doesn't need to be that conditioned, he needs to be conditioned enough and as big as possible, and if he was like that at the Mr. Olympia, he could have placed all the way up to top 4, but uh, yeah, we'll see next year, but you know, he's a top tier bodybuilder for sure, and at this show, if you ask me, he's probably gonna play second, but I can see Rubio, Mosquera, Nexzilla in that top 2, I can see him in second, right behind Samson, I don't see him beating Samson, I don't think he's gonna beat Krizio, I'm gonna show you a comparison in a moment, I don't think he can really beat Krizio, mainly because, you know, Krizio is sponsored by EVLS, and he's competing here at their show, and more so because Krizio is beating him from the back, but I'm not so sure, I'm not so sure, Kevin Levroni actually has Rubio in second, uh, he's watching the show live, and he was interviewed by AJ Kelly Robert, you can find his Instagram, he's posting a lot of stuff from this show, he's over there, he's doing a great job covering shows, so Kevin Levroni thinks Rubio is gonna play second instead of Krizio, personally, I don't really think that's gonna happen, but I can see it. As you can see, Rubio is pretty much dwarfing everybody in the leg department, upper body, not so much, I mean, he's also really massive in the upper body as well, surprisingly, I mean, who would have thought that this guy is gonna look so good next to the top pros, and I'm talking top, top pros, I mean, Samson was third at the Mr. Olympia, Krizio was seventh, uh, Nathan is also like probably like top 8 material, and here you have Rubiel who is definitely, I think definitely beating Nathan Diasha and potentially even beating Krizio, I mean it's it's not impossible, uh, can he beat Samson? No, no, especially because of the back poses, and I think this is also the reason why he can't beat Krizio, you know, the conditioning in the lower body and just, you know, back development and the way his back flows uh, in these poses, like uh, back double and back lat spread, but then again, I don't know, I mean, look at the lower body, I mean, look at the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads, and I mean, look at the, the arms in the side tricep especially, like, I think he has, look at this, he has literally bigger arms than Krizio in the side tricep, 
So like from the side, <laughs> Rubio is really good. From the front, also he's phenomenal. You're gonna see a much better quality uh, for us in a second. And even though he's probably not beating Grigio, I think he's definitely destroying Nate and the Asha. And I mean, this is the second time in a week that he's losing against a guy who is having a pro debut. Horse MD just beat him at Romania and now Rubio is beating him at this show at Prague. By the way, Horse MD just didn't show up. I have no idea why. We'll find out soon, but even if there is nothing wrong with him, I would understand the decision to not compete at this show. I have no idea why he decided to do this show. I mean, after placing third at Romania, I think he should have ended the year right then and there. That was an amazing result. He should not mess that up. And in this show, I don't think he would place third. No way. No, I think Rubio would destroy him as well. I mean, just look at the size of those freaking legs. Like, these are the biggest legs in bodybuilding of all time, of all time, that's just how it is, that's it, I mean, <laughs> who has bigger legs, like, Samson is known for having really good legs, and here next to him, his legs look tiny, I don't even want to talk about uh, Grigio and Nathan Diasha, and I mean, who, like, Ronnie Coleman, I wouldn't say so, I don't think Ronnie Coleman had bigger legs, I mean, sure, he was a much, much better bodybuilder, but legs? No, no, not even Big Ramy, not even Kai Green, not even Tom Platts. These are the best legs full time. Not just the biggest, but I would say the best, because they are so freaking round and, and full and humongous, but they also have a decent quality to them. They are not just big blobs of muscle. I think they have better separation than Big Ramy, for example. I mean, I really like this guy, this is, I would say, this is bodybuilding, this is just, you know, freak factor all day long, this is crazy what we're looking at here, but I think Michal Krizio is in the middle of the callout for a reason, I think he is placing second here, I think he has, like, more polished, maybe more balanced physique, more symmetrical, and, again, better conditioning, especially from the back and just the back itself, and for sure, I mean, having a big name and being sponsored by the EVLS won't hurt, so I think he is placing second, uh, and I think, uh, of course, Samson is placing first, no doubt about that. And Rubio, in my opinion, is placing third. I think he absolutely smoked Nathan Diasha, especially in that leg department. But also his upper body, I think, is more dominant as well. I don't like his traps and his neck too much. I think it's only hurting him. But I do think he did enough to place third, to place top three in his pro debut, guys. And it's not a pro debut like Horse MD. He won his pro card all the way back in 2021. So he had a lot of time to make progress. I'm not taking anything away from Horse MD. What he accomplished was huge. It was really good. But... Rubio turned pro yesterday, guys, he turned pro yesterday, and now he's competing against top 3 and top 7 guys in the world, and he's placing top 3, and he's giving these guys a run for their money, I mean, this is insane, I mean, at the Mr. Olympia next year, which I think he's going to be there, I think he's going to qualify, I think this guy can crack like top 6, top 5, I gotta show you this for a moment, so this is men's open bodybuilding, look at the other guys, Look at the other guys next to him. I mean, they're not looking like freaking bodybuilders. They're looking like classy guys standing next to him. What are they even looking for on this stage? I mean, this is basically setting a new standard for bodybuilding. This guy needs to go all the way up to like top five at the Mr. Olympia and just stay there and not do these uh, shows and be in these call-outs. Like, he should do just only big shows like Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia and that's where he belongs. He is humiliating these guys with his mess. I mean, this is insane. Let's see some of the other comparisons. So, like I said, Michal Krizo is probably placing second. He was in the center of the callouts, right next to Samson, majority of the time. But then again, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think Rubio can easily place second because look at this. Look at this side <laughs> tricep. What the hell is going on here? I mean, look at the legs. He's killing Krizio here, he's destroying him. I mean, look at the size and the fullness and the details as well, the conditioning. And then look at the arms, look at the freaking arms. Krizio is literally known for having the biggest arms in the world. It's like him and Nick Walker, and this guy doesn't really have the best arms, you know, especially in the, like, front double, but look at this shot, side tricep. 
He's destroying Carrizo here. I mean, I think he's closer to the camera. And you can see the arm of the judge is probably moving him, you know, back to the line. So yeah, he's got the angle. That's why he looks so much bigger. But I mean, forget about the proportions. Just look at the shape and, and, and the way it flows with his body. Everything is just so freaky, man. I mean, this guy, he, he might play second. I mean, it's not likely because of all the factors I just mentioned. But he might. He can be second here. Here's again why I don't think Rubiel can play second, it's because of the back, even Nathan's back double is probably better than Rubiel's, I would say back lat spread as well, you're gonna see that in a second, but yeah, like this is definitely the pose uh, that he needs to improve the most, back double and probably back lat, I think he just needs to work on his back. He needs to get that back bigger. Not the traps, definitely not the upper traps, but like the lower lats, lats in particular. I think Rubiel is uh, structurally a little bit narrow in the shoulders, so it's probably gonna be a little bit of an issue for him to grow that back, but, you know, it can definitely improve. I mean, this guy, once again, is only 28 years old, he's only starting, this is his pro debut, he actually had a NPC debut yesterday, and even back in the Elite Pro days, he wasn't that good, so he improved a ton in the past year or so, and there is a bright, bright future ahead of this bodybuilder. I didn't mean to, but I guess this video is mainly about uh, Rubiel Mosquera. I mean, I am just so freaking impressed. I haven't been impressed this much for a while. So this is just my honest feelings right here. And I feel like he's going to be probably third here, but I could definitely see him easily placing second, which might be the result. But whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video, guys, if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.